This is project 16 of Hacking with Swift. It's time for another app project, and this time you're going to be using MapKit, Apple's mapping framework that lets us drop pins, plan routes, and zoom around the world in just a few swipes. Working with MapKit requires you to learn quite a few new classes, so I've tried to construct a project simple enough that we can focus on the mapping element. In this project, you'll make an app that shows the locations of capital cities around the world, and when one of them's tapped, you can bring up more information. If you're all set, let's go straight to Xcode. In Xcode, choose Create a New Xcode Project. Choose iOS, Single View App, then press Next. Name this thing Project 16, then press Next. And Create on your desktop is fine. Now go straight to main.storyboard, and we're going to embed our view controller inside a navigation controller. So I'll choose it, then select Editor, Embed in Navigation Controller. Then rearrange things slightly a bit nicer. Down here, like that. Boom. And now, because we're using MapKit, we're going to add one big map component. This is inside the object library. So go ahead and search for Map, and drag out a MapKit view into your view, and make it take up all the space we can see on the screen. I'll just drag it out nice and big to occupy the full size of our view controller. For auto layout constraints, we can have them done automatically by Xcode. So go to Editor, Resolve Auto Layout Issues, then choose Add Missing Constraints. And if you go straight to the Size Inspector, you can have a look what's been made for us. You can see it goes to Top Safe Area, Bottom to Super View, Leading and Train to Super View as well. And Bottom Super View means it'll actually go under the home indicator on iPhone 10 devices and 10R and 10S and so forth, which is exactly what we want. To see how that all looks, go ahead and press Command R to build your program and run it back in the simulator. And there's our basic map view looking good.